from Calhoun Community College in uh, Huntsville. Uh, so we uh, have been participating in scholarship for service for a couple of years. How many of you are have scholarship for service at your college? Okay, this is a program, uh, this is a grant, uh, NSF grant, in collaboration with NSA. Um, we, uh, we have University of Alabama Huntsville, um, almost across the street from our campus. Uh, so we, they actually gave us um, uh, as part of their grant. And our student receives, uh, as part of this grant, our student receives one year scholarship at our college and the student receives $22,000 stipend, uh, full tuition, um, all books paid, professional development, travel fund, uh, health insurance uh, for one year. And after that, that student can transfer to the uh, four-year college and <clears throat> if they're accepted in their program, they will receive two more years at the, at the four-year uh, institution. Uh, we have had two students go through our program so far. So, uh, University of Alabama, Huntsville, uh, receives almost, I think, a million dollars a year uh, in this, uh, as part of this program. They have, I think, 24 or 25 students in the pipeline right now. Um, <clears throat> this is the information I just copied from um, the grant itself. So, this is C3P, is the newest program. They just introduced it. Uh, we actually applied for it. Um, it was July 3rd, I think, was the deadline for it. Uh, this is a just for community colleges now. So you can actually apply for this. This is a ongoing grant fund. Anybody, any community college can apply for it. And what happens is um, you, so the first cut, they're actually about to announce the recipients next week. So the turnaround time on this first go around was almost like four weeks and it's going to be implemented in the fall semester um, but the student actually uh, has to be um, in already have a bachelor's degree program or bachelor's degree or has to be a uh, has to be out of the military so uh, those are the requirements and they you can put whatever requirements you want on there for funding and they will um, go through that just if you write this grant uh, don't go too far with it. Uh, there is like, for example, marketing, our marketing person one is $70,000 for the marketing budget. If you go that uh, high on the money, they're not gonna give you that. So uh, the catch for the student is um, they, they, they have to work for the government. It can be either federal, local, state government, but they, so it could be a college, uh, it could be city, uh, it could be federal government. Uh, our students are actually having, we have two students currently, both of them received um, the jobs with uh, federal government, but then actually they had only completed one semester with us and they were already offered uh, jobs uh, with the federal government. Uh, Amerdeck and MDA are two agencies in Huntsville and both of them were hired. Um, so uh, these are all the things that you can put in, travel, material supplies, course release, um, that's something you can put for your faculty who will be supervising the student. Uh, and you may think that, okay, this is so easy, you know, why couldn't this, the business office do this? No, it takes, uh, I had a student, she actually kind of had a breakdown halfway through the semester, wanted to drop out this program. If you drop out of the program, you have to pay it all back. That's the bad thing for the student. And then the college also has to pay back everything. So I had to pull her back together, <laughs> Um, take her to advising and just work through her um, uh, counselor and everything. So it worked out okay uh, for us in the end. Uh, there's the link uh, for the scholarship um, grant program. That's where the RFP is. Um, that's it.